What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. This is the first one of 2019. I hope everyone had an awesome New Year's, hung out with friends, got to just stay home, stay safe, didn't do anything crazy. Let's go ahead and kick this off with a bunch of new channels. Let's go. What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. Thank you for staying in, everybody in Premiere. How are you all doing? I hope you had an awesome New Year's. If this is your first time watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, so you're notified every Monday night at 8 p.m. when this thing airs. I basically go over everything that's going on right here in the Honda universe, right here on YouTube, and go over it in one cohesive little episode so that you can stay involved if you've got school, family, friends, work, whatever you have going on. Hopefully you can come here every Monday night at 8, find some new channels to watch, follow along what's going on with some older channels, and just hang out, talk Hondas right here in the live chat in Premiere. So thank you all for tuning in right now while this thing is airing live. I also wanted to throw out a what's up, happy birthday to Stephen Ocasio because I think today, Sunday, is actually his birthday. So you guys are probably watching it Monday. Well, obviously you guys watch it Monday, right? So just wanted to say what's up to Stephen Ocasio, man. Hope you had a great birthday. I know you've been having a good time with your car and friends and things like that. So happy birthday to you, everyone. Head over to his Instagram or YouTube channel or whatever that is and say happy birthday from Honda Vlogs. What's going on, dude? With that said, I wanted to also throw out there to head over to thehondavlogs.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a sticker, a shirt, or a hoodie. Definitely want to say thank you to everybody who has done that already i have a lot of things planned like i said i want to bring the podcast back hopefully next week i should have a new podcast for you guys coming up fairly soon the del sol is working out quite well i need to start working on that a little bit more it's been raining and it's going to be raining for the next five or six days right here in the bay area where i'm actually from so either i work on the motor but i actually really need to get working on the ef because i can't have it sitting uh, as long as it has so definitely let me know in the comments right now if you're excited for ef content ef hatch content because i definitely need to get that paid off and get it all on the street and stuff like that so if anybody's out there trying to pick up a sticker absolutely it would help me because it'll move things along so with that said thank you everybody who has already purchased a shirt and sticker i highly highly appreciate you guys thank you so much Next up, I wanted to talk about something really quickly and is a new law that I've been seeing running around past around right now in California starting January 1st that is kind of suspect and kind of scary because uh, essentially if you had a loud exhaust, you would be able to just get a fix it ticket and actually go and pay. You would essentially just get a fix it ticket and actually just have to go get something signed off to avoid a fine and that fine wasn't actually too, too big. But as long as you got it repaired and, you know, fixed in some way, you would not be worried about getting a fine. As of lately, I'm seeing now the new law has passed that there's like a thousand dollar fine if your exhaust is like too loud there's a lot more details i definitely want people to go out there and investigate for yourself if you're here in california because the law is actually it's it really sucks i'm not gonna lie i believe it's like a thousand dollar fine uh i believe also you have to be over like 95 decibels so to be honest 95 decibels is pretty high so if you're out there with a huge huge exhaust or just no exhaust or just deleted muffler or even like a mid pipe just delete all that stuff will actually add up to a decibel limit but needless to say it's a thousand dollar fine i believe and a one-way ticket to the state ref so it really sucks if you have a loud exhaust and everything else is also not stock if you go to the state ref it's not it's not going to be a good time um you're literally going to not it's not going to be in a good time so i would definitely encourage everybody to actually go out there look up the law petition getting it removed whatever you want to do definitely stay involved because this kind of showed up out of nowhere and it does suck having a mandatory fine and a state ref it's not exactly anything it's not exactly something anybody is happy about and it does suck if you know you modify your car and you don't do anything crazy i am actually not going to blame the takeovers or blame all the other things because i'm not gonna lie we're here in the bay area so we've been having side shows forever the takeovers are just another variant of that thing but i do know that in southern california they are getting out of hand people are just going to a next uh, ignorant level that is the side shows and things like that and especially when i saw them go to the canyons out there in angel crest it's just like two separate worlds that are starting to collide that is unnecessary so the people that get up at the crack of dawn to have fun on their commute to work or just hit the canyons can't do so anymore 
Uh, so that kind of sucks from a driving perspective, but I don't want to get on to too big of a ramble, but I do want to say that this law is into effect. There are videos out there of people discussing it, uh, the ins and outs of it, and people actually starting to get a lot of this stuff happening to them. So if you're not into it, definitely reach out. I'd really love to hear more about your perspectives on it and if there's a way that collectively we can actually work on getting this reversed or fighting back. I know California's got a tons of laws that I already deal with and then we already deal with, but I believe as a Honda community and as a car community, it's definitely something that we shouldn't just pretend doesn't exist. This is, this is actually a real thing going on. Anyways, guys, with that said, let's go ahead and bring these back into the positive. And I got a bunch of channels I want to talk about that we haven't talked about in the past. And to start this off, I'm kicking it off with EF Buddies. <laughs> Well, we got a package in the mail today. It is a lip. What lip is it? It's a Volkswagen Jetta MK3 VR6. Two piece lip that I've seen people. This is a cool group of guys. I believe they have a CRX and an EF hatch. Really cool content that's coming out right now. In the latest video, they actually put, I believe, an MK4 lip on a wagon, or, or not a wagon, but on a CRX. And it's actually very cool to see that. It's actually something that I might be interested in doing. It actually turned out very, very well. But if you guys are interested in CRXs or EF hatches, EF Buddy is definitely a new channel growing right now. And I really would love to see them succeed. So props to you guys for keep commitment on putting out new content. Following that, we got Mega Spool. Megaspool is an awesome channel, as you guys can see. He has like a 500 horsepower turbo DC5, and he's also an insanely good fabricator. Following the last couple videos he has, he's building a cage for a Civic that he, I believe he's taking to the Honda YouTube challenge as well. He's going to make it all wheel drive, doing all the fabrication himself. He's even making a seat rail that was going to work in his car and I believe a possible other car as well. So definitely check out Megaspool if you're into fabricating and just all around awesome, just time-lapse content of just fabrication. Next up, we got Automotive Anatomy. The dash cover, I found it at, I was lucky because I found it at the, at the junkyard. No and way. Yeah, it was wow. in an RT wagon and a red one. But that was like uh, two, three years ago when I found it. And it's still looking it's, good though. It's two pieces. Not like the ones, that, well, it's still the same, but it's like, this is like the old school style. Mm -hmm. I like it that way, it's two pieces. You can take this piece and leave the other one on. Mm. That was, that was a good day at the Young Care, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was a good day. I'm assuming they're very hard to find. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This channel popped up pretty recently, and I'm really happy to say that I'm excited for what videos he's putting out right now. It's definitely doing really awesome behind the scene interview channels. As of lately, he's got quite a few Hondas racked up, and I'm excited for those. Some really awesome EKs, EF wagons, and things of that nature. If you're interested in just seeing interviews and just, you know, one on one personal encounters with people that build their cars, Automotive Anatomy is a channel you should be checking out. Following that, we got Hafferland Videos. Welcome back to Hafferland Videos. Um, today I'm going to show you a very cost-effective way. It's a little uh, change in flow in my in my videos, but I'm going to teach you a cost-effective way. Sorry, um, teach you a cost-effective way on how to build your own uh, like turbo shield or turbo guard. This is a really cool channel. You don't really see this too often. It's like a J32 or J37 combo turbo accord it is insane how you fit everything in there that turbo is is huge and it's making an amazing amount of power if you guys love big turbos and a lot of power this is going to be a channel you're going to want to check out no one's really building these accords so it's really cool to see that you're one of them that wanted to jump in and actually record your content definitely check out hafferland videos he's going to be putting out more content this is going to be a really cool build following that we got speed junkies all right, guys, today I'm going to be uh, putting some stuff together on the motor. Uh, the breathers, the blocks for the back, uh, the breather ports, a lightweight VMS pulley. Um, also, uh, the flywheel, 
and six plug ACT pressure plate. This is another channel that's actually going to the Honda YouTube challenge. In the past couple videos, he actually brought out a CRX that actually looks like a drag CRX. It's totally tubular. There's nothing in the engine bay. It's perfectly shaved. He's getting the engine in. It's a really cool channel. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. I believe he's also in Colorado. So it's going to be really cool to watch what build you have going on right now. The chassis is already looking good. He's putting a B-Series in it, of course. So I'm really excited to see what you have coming up next. Following that, I wanted to make an interjection right now about videos and things like that. But I wanted to throw out there that, yes, I will be coming out with my own podcast coming out soon. Well, reviving it. You can actually go back in my channel and watch Watch some of my older ones with my friend DJ Sleeper Honda and we kind of just discuss life and cars and everything like that but there are other podcasts out there that I want to throw out there's, there's downtime with Downstar obviously with Frank Downstar that's another good podcast that's basically going around talking with other people his friends family and other people enthusiasts in the community with that there is Big Mike and the Think Bigger Project podcast I think episode one is now on YouTube so definitely go ahead and check that out it's going to be very interesting to see what else Big Mike actually puts out with these podcasts. Anyways, guys, I want to get back into the regular show and kick that off with Honda Pro Jason. This guy, I believe, is in Denmark, and actually somebody hit him up and said, would you like to actually come and see my collection of Hondas? And obviously, Jason is a guy that's going to say, yes, yes, absolutely, I want to do that. So he went, and it's a personal garage. It's a lot like Tyson in Arizona, where he just collects a bunch of Acuras. This guy, I believe, is in Denmark, and he just has his own collection of just beautiful cars. And it was really cool to see Jason walk one by one with the owner and kind of discuss them, look at them, and just have the appreciation to collect so many cars and keep them under one roof. Next up, we got SI Rico. Now that the CRX is coming to a close and actually getting ready to hit the dyno very soon, Rico's starting a new project, and that is an EF hatch in the latest video he's actually getting the engine ready to get put together he's got the head apart the block apart and he's got a bunch of other turbo things because he is going to go turbo so it's really cool to see you start from the ground zero we saw what you do with the crx we're really excited to see the power that that's going to put down but to know that you're also going to boost the EF hatch that you have right there in the front of your house. I'm really excited for this because you know what? I love EFs, I love EF content, so I'm really happy to see that you're just gonna put this together on a budget, but you're gonna do it correctly. Speaking of doing things correctly, we got Dana Young, static, and you know what? After the new year, he went 100% in getting the CRX all-wheel drive. Like I said, he's been doing everything himself. He cut the rear trailing arms, and he's now making the rear axle and everything else set up in the rear of the CRX. He spent a lot of time under the car, cutting a bunch of times, making everything work properly, and he now has everything under the CRX. I'm really excited for this build because like, he's showing you everything he has done, and he's doing it all himself, what he has in the front yard. And like I said, man, I always commend how much DIY stuff that you knock out. Following that, we got Chris Sadowski putting in work on the budget EJ that he got quite some time ago. He was actually out there. He actually got a mini me motor that he's getting put together and a bunch of other stuff for the EJ to get it back on the road. He was painting the Del Sol, driving it around, and I believe the transmission cracked, let out a bunch of fluid. So he's had a lot of problems starting in 2019. But man, you've been keeping it together. You're working strong and getting everything figured out. And I know the first couple weeks have been rough, man, but everything is starting to come together. Following that, Steven Ocasio. Happy birthday to you, man, once again. In his latest video, he actually got a bunch of Recaro fabric and started redoing some things in his car. And that's really awesome because we all know that he took a lot of time to get the paint on the outside looking good, the engine bay looking good. And now he's working on the inside, just kind of wrapping some interior bits. So that way, you know, every the whole car is elevated to a level that he is actually really happy with. So I am personally happy that you're taking that time. It's really cool to see you take the little details and push them as far as you can. Following that, we got DC Crush with the Turbo Integra. He made a video quite some time ago actually getting it all together because he wanted to get the car all ready to run before he actually had to send it somewhere else. And uh, in the latest video, he actually got the car running, working properly, and then and then it broke. So there was an explanation as to what is going on there. So if it's actually a good video to hop into DC Crush's channel if you haven't, and kind of get to know him, the car, and what he has going on, and what's actually happening. So props to you, man. I'm really loving your car. Next up, we got Garage. Built Hondas, more EF content, and Brian Crower cams thrown in the B20 EF track car that he has. It's an awesome video. It's actually very long and detailed. It's really cool just being able to hang out with you, man. And I loved how you actually went about showing how to test power, where you actually went out to Mexico 
and raced your friend a couple times, special different pools, you know, first 20, second 30, just to actually see how you compared it to another car. Then you put the cams in and tried to replicate those first races to basically see, did I gain power? Did I lose power? It definitely was more cost effective than going to a dyno and actually doing all of that work because it does get expensive to go do a couple runs, put in a bunch of work, and then go back. So I really loved how you actually went and tested your power. I can't wait to see that car actually work out on the track because I think you actually did gain a lot of top end. Following that, we got Phil's 2K. Haven't talked about this guy in a while and I'm actually not sure. He's got one of the cleanest s2000s here on youtube i'm not gonna lie and he also has a crv and both of them seem to be having issues right now so start of 2019 i think he actually has a huge thing coming for the s2000 he actually he hasn't actually told anybody but he has kind of hinted to it so i'm really excited to see what's actually coming for the s2000 but both cars need a little love and you know what to start 2019 why not work on all your cars get them reliable get them running so that you can have them for the following year and just have a bunch of fun Following that, we got Slick Up TV. I've talked about this guy in the past. He's had a couple friends and him. K Swap, Turbos, EM1s, really cool channel. But he's back 2019 with an Integra, and I can't wait to see what you do to this car, man. We all see what you've done to the past cars, so it's only to be expected that you're gonna put that same quality, time, and effort into the Integra, and I can't be more excited. So if you guys are into Integras and you wanna see a new build, definitely check out Slick Up TV. he's got one. Speaking of Integras, I actually got a few more I wanna talk about, starting with Irvin Dorsey. You've also seen a lot of the work that he's been putting into his Integra, the motor. He painted the Civic, painted another car that he's going to daily, and now he's taking apart the engine out of another another Integra getting that built. I think he's going to use this one as the daily commuter. So really stoked about that, man. You put in a lot of effort. You've got a lot of stuff going on. Thank you for showing us and just kind of bring us along for the journey. One last Integra, we got Bodhi Vision, another channel that shows us a lot of auto body and paint, specifically paint. And he just got a new pink Integra from somebody. Definitely check out his latest video. He explains to you why he has the car, what he plans on doing with it slightly but we all know it's probably not going to stay pink because he is a paint guy so he's going to want to paint everything himself but he did say that the paint that was on it was actually very good and it was built to be a show car it's very stout turbo it's a really great build you guys should definitely check this out but that's another integra to start 2019 we got a lot of these man and i'm really excited because you know what for a while the integra chassis was actually very underrepresented here on youtube all right, guys, last and not least, I'm talking about Dashing Cars. This guy has been building an off-road lifted wagon for quite some time. And as of recently, he just picked up a CRX and I believe he's gonna put a K-Series in it. I think he's an engineering, I think he's an engineer by trade. You can kind of tell by a lot of the fabrication and stuff that he's done with his wagon. So I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do with the CRX. The quality of his content is amazing. I'd really love for his channel to start growing. The quality just in the cinematics of his camera work, how much effort he puts into every video and how much effort he puts into all the modifications he does to his wagon and now the crx it's just it's worth a lot man and i'm really excited for this year man you have a lot of really good stuff coming up i want to see this grow all right guys well that's it that's it for this episode of the honda recap i wanted to talk about some new channels and kind of get into some of the older channels and kind of mix it all up to start off 2019 i hope everyone had an awesome year thank you so much for you guys that are tuning in right now in premiere love you guys head over to hondavlogs.com shop pick yourself up a shirt sticker hoodie whatever you guys need to stay warm this year Keep putting out content. There's a bunch of new channels coming up. Make sure to follow the Honda YouTube challenge. We're about a month, month and a half away. Things are starting to kick in. If there's new channels that are popping up that are starting builds, some people are coming in hot. There's cars out there that don't even have engines in, but they're about to drive six, 700 miles to Mississippi for the track day. So I can't wait for that content to start rolling in. With that said, guys, thank you for tuning in to yet again, another episode of the Honda recap. If this is the first episode you're watching, make sure to hit subscribe, hit that thumbs up and that bell. So you're notified every Monday night at eight o'clock when this thing airs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.